Hey everyone, welcome to How Inez Rolls. I'm out on my way to the neighborhood store to see what we could get. Now last week I did a very large haul. Let's see what we could get today. Like I said, last week we did a large haul. I feel good about the meats we have, but Easter's coming, you guys. So I need to be, I'm on the hunt for our Easter gear. Just, you know, I already have a little bit of candy, but I wanna get Easter dinner and make it special. So let's see what I can find. I might have to go to a couple of stores, but I'll take you along with me. And I have my mask, which have you tried wearing these in the stores? I almost get a little lightheaded wearing it. I need more oxygen, <laughs> but I understand why we have to do it. So I still am doing it. Let me know in the comments if you are making your own mask and using them when you go out. So everything is pretty stocked. I can see that I need, I can see I got everything that I need, but the things that I'm getting this week are kind of where I feel like we're lacking nuts and lunches. So <laughs> be prepared to see more junk. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I feel like I got a lot of stuff for the amount that I paid for, considering that a lot of this is for um, Easter. Not a lot, but a good amount, you know, that would be extra is an Easter dinner. So um, I'm going to show you some of the treats that I got and uh, of those freezer things. I need to put them right away. So first off, sodas were such a great deal. They were four for $10 but they didn't really have a lot of the Diet Coke. So I know Paul likes also the Diet Sprites. So that was good. So now we're gonna open the treasures of all of these bags. <laughs> okay, I realized that I was doing good on dinners and I was doing good on breakfasts, but I mean, I had good amount of snacks as well, but the boys were needing things for lunch and that kind of picked over our refrigerator pretty good, pretty fast. So I got a lot of things for the freezer and these are just primarily for the kids. So I got a couple of these fettuccine Alfredos. I have a feeling Ezra really likes these because I think he's had them before. If not, I know they won't go to waste. Um, I also got a couple of the spaghetti ones. Now this is a pretty good size portion. So that should be good for one of the older boys. Um, they were on a sale for like two or five for $10. So it was like $2 each. And then those, um, the fettuccine Alfredos were like a dollar. And then I also got three lasagnas, three cheese lasagnas, be three cheese. Oh, that's a six cheese. <laughs> Wow, that's gonna be really cheesy. And I got these for Kobe, who's sitting over there, um, because he loves lasagna. Kobe, I got you lasagna. Cool. Got a couple of Red Baron pizzas. These were on sale, I think they were like 350-ish. Um, and I just got a couple of cheese pizzas. Now, I used to call those emergency pizzas, but now I'm just calling them staples because <laughs> um, the boys need them. They really, really need them. <laughs> <laughs> I also got Jonas, um, he loves Hot Pockets, weird, but <laughs> I got like some different ones, different flavored ones, and um, some ham and cheese, and then I also got like a Philly cheese steak. And those two were on a sale, I think they were four for $10. I bought these, you guys. Have you ever had these? I saw them in the freezer section, and I'm making chicken noodle soup tonight for dinner. Um, these are gonna be delicious in that chicken noodle soup. I can't wait to try it. And it looks like it, it won't take long to cook. I'll have to read that later, but that'll be good. I got Paul some uh, French vanilla. He actually, I'm not sure if he likes this brand, so I only got one. So that's good for, I mean, that's gonna hold him, have to hold him over for a little while. I got some chicken breasts. Then these are the ones that I get at Winco. So I was kind of, I was pleasantly surprised to see that my bonds carried it. And I got some tater tots. So maybe I'll make a tater tot casserole next week. Better go put these all away. Okay, so I got our ham. So I'm gonna see what Paul would like to do with this. Um, I feel like he made it on the Traeger last year. It was so good. So I think we're gonna do that if he wants to do that. Just spiral cut, ready, mostly to eat. It's just kind of to heat through. Um, 
I got a bag of potatoes because guess what? They didn't have the frozen potatoes for my for the cheesy funeral potatoes, which I will link below. I know this video will come out after Easter, but you guys, if you don't have this recipe for cheesy potatoes or funeral potatoes, um, I'm gonna link that video below because it is delicious. One of our favorite sides and we don't have it too often. So we like to have it around special holidays like Christmas or Easter. And then I just got some crescent rolls. I thought about making rolls and I still might, but um, that way I just have a backup just in case. So for my funeral potatoes, it's supposed to use uh, frozen potatoes. They didn't have it. So I had to buy a bag of potatoes. So I'll be cubing those up and um, trying to get out a lot of the, the liquid out of it, which should be fine. I'm sure it'll be delicious. I can't wait to actually try doing it. Um, and then I just got like some Easter goodies. So I'm gonna put these in the pantry. And uh, I had bought Ezra, look at this. <laughs> he poops <laughs> when he hops. <laughs> That'll keep his attention, I'm sure. And then I just got some cookies. I'm also gonna put those in the pantry. These are um, the Loft House. They're pretty soft cookies, but I saw that these were strawberry shortcake. So I thought that would be really yummy and special on Sunday. So let me put these away and we'll continue. Okay, I was able to get some of these cereals for $1.99 each. I just had to buy three and honestly, Fruity Pebbles and Chocolate Pebbles are just the boys' favorites. I can't. These are just theirs. I, I, I resigned from having to eat that. So <laughs> they are going through growth spurts, guys. <laughs> I got these, though, for Paul. He loves these. These are still on sale there. And then I, find, I found these, like, over in the cracker area. So I kind of hope that Paul likes these or Jonas. I know Jonas really likes these as well. Um, so we'll see. They feel a little light. So it's supposed to be five packs. And I have just a, di a dinner macaroni and cheese. But look what I found, you guys. These were on sale for 99 cents a bunch. So I just got three. And have I ever told you the story about why daffodils are so special to me? Well, whoa, they were leaking. Okay, I'm gonna put these in a mason jar and I'm gonna tell you a little story. <laughs> okay, I just trimmed them down and you guys, here is the story of the daffodils. Um, about, my mother passed away about five years ago. We miss her very much. Um, she always had a very generous spirit. She was always by, you know, um, sending checks to organizations. She was, you know, she'd put in money in the, the food banks or whatever she could do. She, you know, and not having a lot herself, but still being very generous. Okay, so my mom found out, like, it was probably through the March of Dimes or something like that, where they were doing an, um, a daffodil um, fundraiser of sorts. So my mom paid, I don't know, $30, $50. This was 30 years ago <laughs> um, and over 30 years ago. I just remember this was like, and if my dad's watching, <laughs> I still remember this <laughs> all the time. Um, so especially when I see daffodils, my mom sent a bouquet of daffodils to be delivered to my dad at work. Well, my dad was a welder in a very large company for Boeing and uh, we really didn't know what hangar he was in because there was just so many workers. But my mom sent these beautiful bouquet of daffodils to my dad and uh, over the loudspeaker, I mean, I, it took so long really to find what hangar he was in. Um, they announced him, you need to come get your flowers. You need to come get your flowers. <laughs> And I could only imagine, like my dad said, he was teased the whole way to the front and then the whole way back. Oh, they're so beautiful. Oh, I love your flowers. Like they're just such little stinkers about it that when he got home, he wasn't very happy with my mom about it, which I, I could understand him not being uh, happy, but my poor mom, like she just wanted to do something nice and send them to my dad. 
Who knew he was going to be teased relentlessly? But they are beautiful and it makes for a great story. <laughs> and I think about it every time I see them. So let's keep going with the haul. Okay, so right outside our deli, they have these grab and goes where you could just get some turkey and cheese. And I wanted to do that. I just felt like having a nice sandwich. Sounds so good. Picked up some extra sharp cheddar or just sharp cheddar would work just fine. But these are gonna be for the potatoes, the funeral potatoes. And with that also, I got a few of these sour creams. I will be using probably one or two maybe um, for the funeral potatoes. Uh, I got some butter because this is that I love. We love, we go through a lot of butter. We just do. And with baking and putting on toast and things like that. This is our favorite sauce. It's just nice to have in the pantry a go-to. Well, I was down to my last jar. I don't like to have just one jar. So um, I've been on the hunt for about a couple weeks now and I was so happy. I even paid extra to get a couple of these. <sighs> Now this uh, green enchilada sauce is super good. Um, I mix it with a little bit of sour cream, kind of watered, I'm not watered down, thinned it out with a little bit of milk and the sour cream, and I add it to the sauce. And then I add, I make it like an enchilada casserole. Just kind of use your corn tortillas to layer, or flour, actually flour would be better. And you could put your chicken and cheese, just kind of layer it up, so easy, so delicious. And if you can find this Makayo's kind, it might just be more local to us, but a green enchilada, the big cans, you, it'll be so good. And then they still had their sale, these buy one, get one free. So I paid about $13 for both, which is a really good deal. So let's get these in the fridge. We're getting near the end. All right, so this is the end. Oranges were on sale for 99 cents a pound, so I just bought you know some for our family. And then I bought, out of convenience, just some of these cantaloupe. They were looking super good, and so I got three of them. And I know my kids will be probably mostly done by tomorrow, maybe the next day. But I just feel like right now they need to have some of the fruits. And yes, I paid for the convenience of it. I got some apples, these two were on sale for 99 cents a pound. And I got some of my favorite tomatoes and some more lettuce. So I'll be making a sandwich pretty quick here. I got some bananas. And then I got a, a loaf of French bread and a bagel for free. Because <laughs> of the, I had a Monopoly, I, I got instant winners on Monopoly. So yay. <laughs> And then I also bought three of these because these are our favorites for dip, but I didn't buy any onion soup. So we may have to try, I might have to try some um, do-it-yourself dips. I can't wait to try that actually. It doesn't seem like it would be that hard. And I got some popcorners because I saw them there and I thought, oh, those ones are so good. Let me know if you like the popcorners. I even have some white cheddar ones in the pantry. So. Now we got, we're a little stocked up on the, the treats. So you guys, that is it. So this is mostly, like I said, a lot of produce, um, a lot of lunches, a lot of snacks, um, just a few dinners. And, um, but you could tell it was mostly Easter and drinks and just like the stuff that my kids are kind of going through. So. I need to take care. I mean, this is what we do. This is our haul. This is how we roll, right, you guys? So thanks so much for stopping by the channel. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. I will have out some wonderful recipes with this wonderful haul coming up. So thanks so much again for stopping by and stick around, rollers. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone. <laughs>